Three, two, one. Ready? Here we go. How do you do number one, two, three? Yeah. See, do you see how much I struggle with one going one, two, three? <laughs> I'm one, two, three. That's, I did it my whole life. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Everybody coming at you again today um, from my beautiful place I live here in La Jolla, California. Got a big alley right behind you coming to you live from, we go find all these cool little places to film these videos for you. So I just want to talk real quick about a subject that I, um, I get asked a lot about right? and, and it has nothing to do with real estate. It has to do with, you know, how do you get out of a rut? How do you get out of a funk? How do you, how do you kind of get over whatever is holding you back? And let me just first tell you that um, I don't care whether you're watching Gary V or Grant Cardone or anybody else out there, literally everybody that I know has bad days. They, they, they definitely get into a rut just like anybody else. Um, the difference is, is that really successful people know how to quickly um, take that fear, take that thing that's holding them back, take that thing that's, that's not working in their life and get it behind them and make it something that motivates them rather than something that's pushing them down, right? And so how do you do that? Well, here's the easiest way I can tell you to do it, is just two things. Um, you know, I wear a bracelet that says the time is now, every single day. And I don't wear a watch, and the, the irony is, is that every time I look at my wrist, the time is right. It's always right, it's always correct, it's right now. Basically, get off your ass. What in the hell are you talking about? You are going to die sooner than you want to. I promise you, you have a very, very limited number of days left on this planet. And ask anybody um, that has done the math and tried to figure out how many days they potentially have left on the planet statistically, and I can tell you without a doubt, every one of them is gonna tell you the same thing. It's That number is way too small. So when you face the reality that you're going to die. We are all afflicted with the, inflicted with the exact same disease. We're all going to die. And you have one shot at this thing, one, one opportunity to go after it in life, then getting in that moment and being very grateful that the air is in your lungs, blood is in your veins, that you woke up today and that you're in a situation where you have the ability to, to do something today it's very difficult to stay in a rut. Now, again, I know I'm making a really broad statement, but you understand what I'm saying. At the end of the day, when you are in a place where you are very grateful to be alive, you're present, you're in that moment. Today is my day, today is my opportunity. This, I, I understand fully that this is a gift. It is, it, to the right individuals, it is highly, highly motivating to not waste that opportunity, to see it as an asset, to quite, to quite, frankly, see it as the only asset, the only currency you really have in life. I can assure you, I promise you, when you're on your deathbed, the one thing you are not going to wish you had more of is money. But you will absolutely wish you had more time. So if that's true, then, then it's certainly true now. So act like it. Take advantage of it right now. The easiest way to get yourself out of a rut is be present. Realize today's a gift. Realize you have an opportunity. Realize that you can do something with your life that many can't. Which brings me to my point, second point. Not only leading in gratitude um, and understanding that today is a gift, but also understanding that your circumstances are a gift. There's a lot of people that love to play the role of the victim. And they, for, they forget that there are quite literally billions of people in many other places around the world that would change places with you in a second. Your problems, your worst day are their best. Be grateful. You're here. You have an opportunity. You can do something right now. You can literally take one step today in a positive direction. One step in a direction that you wanna go in. Doesn't have to be all the steps. You don't have to get there today, but you can certainly take a step in the right direction today. You can surround yourself with the right people. You can talk to the right people. You can reach out to a mentor. You can reach out to a family. You can repair relationships. You can do whatever it takes to get your head back in the game. Little things that help you to realize that you're moving in the right direction. And I'll give you the last thing. The last thing I would tell you that, that really helps you to get out of a rut is celebrate all wins. So many people tie their success to very, very uh, specific achievements. And I'll give you an example. I talk to real estate all, investors all the time and they'll tell me, man, I, I know I've got there. I know I'm there when I'm doing um, $100,000 a month or I'm doing a million dollars a month. 
rather than I know I'm there when I'm able to walk out of the office every day at three o'clock and go to my kids' football practice or my daughter's cheerleading practice or I'm able to actually walk home and know that I got a business behind me that is taking care of business while I'm taking care of family or I can go on the vacation I've always wanted. I can go visit my parents you know, that are in some faraway state that I haven't been able to afford to go see. These things are very tangible and, they have, and they're not about this $100,000. They're about creating the experiences that really matter. And it allows you to celebrate these things along the way to getting to the 100,000 or getting to the million, right? When you, when you wrap your success in a variety of wins and you celebrate them all, not just the monetary ones, your mind has the ability to keep pushing forward. Once we have success, we want more. Once we understand that we're winning, we want more. It's just who we are as entrepreneurs. Learn how to do that effectively. Be very honest with yourself. Be grateful, realize how, many t how much time you have, realize that other people will trade places with you in a second. It's nowhere near as bad as you think it is. And last but not least, celebrate all wins. Hope that helps. Take care.